so I'm making another one just because I, I wanted a normal video, not a short. And I hate when YouTube does that. Like, it used to not do that. Now it has to be over a certain length. But anyway, yeah, this is the build. I gotta move the motor over uh, just a little bit. And the holes in the motor, I'll just make them a little bigger, slot them. It's not a big deal. Because uh, I just guessed at that. I did try to align it to the shaft, though, and I got on off a little bit because I was trying to measure from the side over here. It was pretty tough because uh, the tubing's not perfect, so... But it's okay. Now that they're aligned, or you know, in front of each other, I can align perfect and then have the shaft coupler on it, and then boom, this thing's spinning. And then I can test it, because uh, I, I could put a hose on there if I had a hose. I don't think I have a hose that big, though. A hose is great uh, as a uh, makeshift coupler. If it's all you got, <clears throat> you can use a, a three-quarter hose and some clamps and clamp that sucker down, and it will... Uh, you can even make it where it slips or rips and, instead of tearing stuff up. It might not be a bad idea with this, uh, but I'm going to use a solid coupler that's got a flexible... Uh, it's not It's not rigid. It's a flexible, solid coupler. So, And i got to do another exhaust because this thing going to fit. I think I'm just going to cut that and then go go straight up. I'll probably start a can right here because uh, I got a short can that I can use and then I got packing so I'm going to pack this sucker. I got to figure it out because it's going to be a real muffler. I know it's going to choke it a little bit but you know what? Uh, I want the noise down. This thing's loud man. It's the only thing I don't like about it. That's why I really wish I had the 5 horse because uh, I wanted to do the 3-2 because it's cheap but the 5 horse would have been sweet man because I bet it's more balanced than this but it's okay. I'll get a 5 horse later. Because uh, y'all bought them all, so which is good. Good. Dude, they, we need them to be out of stock, basically, uh, all the time because they're so selling so fast. Uh, you know, I want you to get one though. You, I would get the ten horse if you're just gonna get one. Get the five or ten. The ten's nice, man. You can't go wrong with that ten because you can put it on a go kart. You could put it on a buggy. You could put it on a generator. You could put it on a. You could put it on anything. You could put it. You could power an entire windmill with the ten horse. So you could do it with this too. So if you had to, you could run a wood saw off this. It might be a little weak. You have to go a little slow, but it could do it. It's better than a water wheel uh, if we're talking about stuff that can happen. But anyway, yeah, this is my interstate. Uh, I did get one or two subs from the interstate, which is cool. And you know what's funny is no one ever wants to race me when I have a little baby diesel on the back. Uh, on a cart because they're like man and, and I got cameras on the car and they can see them so they're probably like this dude man it's gonna embarrass me if, if <laughs> especially as it when it's a truck uh, I did I didn't have this in it but I, I raced the Ford 67 one night and he couldn't have been tuned because he should have blew the doors off this car if it was tuned because that thing's fat those are fast uh, I know I drove them so uh, it must have been stock because I beat him uh, it was close but on the highway uh, I mean, I still blew the doors off, man. Uh, I was going over 100, and I was still passing him. I mean, even, and I was an 80 mile an hour rolling start. This car's got some fucking torque, man. I got it turned all the way up. The only way I can get more power now is I have to go E85 e alcohol or uh, a bigger turbo. So I got it squeezed as much as possible. I love it. I love living life on the max. You know what I mean? Max volume. All right, peace.